What's up everyone? So Notability just updated their app with Notability 9.3. So I figured we could take a quick look to see everything that's new and what they've improved. So first and foremost, you may have noticed on the side here, on the right, uh, the navigation tool has been updated a little bit. So it's actually a lot easier to see that it says page one out of four on the right hand corner over here. And that has been really nice. So it's a little bit more visible and it's on the page. So it just makes things a little bit easier to see. And you can even click on that page there and enter in the page you want to jump to. So if I want to jump to page three, I can click that or we'll go to page two We'll go to page three, click that, and it takes you to page three, which is really ni nice. So if you know how many pages and what you have on certain pages, that can be easy to jump to. Um, but otherwise, I think it's fine to just scroll through usually because unless you're going through like a textbook, I guess, then that could be more useful. But either way, it's a cool addition. It's better than not having it at all. That's for sure. Now, another new feature they added is this settings button up here. So before there was a little wrench there, but now there's these three dots for your settings or options. And what they've introduced here is this view called single page, or as we are more familiar with horizontal scrolling. So if you have used apps like GoodNotes or NoteShelf, they use this horizontal scrolling, which personally I am not a huge fan of. Um, but I'll show you in a second that this is actually pretty useful for another new feature that they added. So some people do actually prefer, prefer horizontal scrolling um, instead of the seamless scrolling, the vertical scrolling that I prefer. So you do have this option now, which is nice. It's better than not having the option. But if you don't care for it too much, you can of course go back to seamless scrolling. Now you might notice at the top right here next to the cursor is this little laser pointer. And that, as you can see, I'm using my Apple Pencil now, it's a cursor or a laser pointer for a presentation mode, which is really neat. So if you are going to mirror your iPad to another display or connect it to another display via HDMI, you can enter presentation mode, which I have not even tried out yet. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, so let's see what, how this looks like. So right now I am in presentation mode on Notability. So anything that's in this blue box you can see is going to be shared on the screen I'm mirroring to or connected to. So I'm just right now airplaying this to my Mac and you can see all you see is the note. You don't see any of the navigation tools up here that I can see. You don't see, um, the, the, oh sorry, this is the navigation tool at the bottom, but you don't see any of the menu icons here at the top. All you see is what's in the blue box. And if I even make this, if I zoom out a little bit to frame it like that, that is what my audience is also going to see. So I can go ahead here and now use my laser pointer. So this is really nice. You don't even need an actual laser pointer anymore. And I can go ahead and start pointing to things here and my audience will see this as well. And I can you know, circle things or move things around to draw their attention to something, which is really cool. Now you can actually share everything. So like including these menu icons and the navigation. And that is when you click this up here and you click on screen. So now I'm mirroring the whole screen and you can see that my audience sees the whole screen along with the uh, menu and the navigation on the bottom as well. So that is really neat. So you can do it either way. And this is really cool because now if you want to give a presentation or do instruct, uh, instructional videos uh, for YouTube, for example, you can use Notability as your app. Um, like Khan Academy has sort of that kind of setup. You can do something very similar with Notability now, which is really, really cool. Now there is another option. So let's go back and move this to presentation mode. Now, if I wanna add another note, so let's say I wanna add this note here and I view it on the left. So now I am presenting one note and I have a separate note up which I can use for myself to refer back to while I'm giving my presentation. Just like you might see in PowerPoint, right? So it says I'm presenting this and I am only seeing this and when you look at what's being presented, you can see it's the note that Notability is actually showing. It's not the notes that I have for myself. So you can keep some uh, written notes for yourself on the side, so some talking points, so that you know what you wanna say when you reach a certain slide on your notes that you're presenting. 
uh, which is really cool. Now let's see if we can move this around. So you, you, can, you can resize this like so, and if we switch it here, now you can see that I'm presenting what I was referring to before, and now this note is not being shown. So my audience is seeing this now instead of this. So that's really cool for sure, and it really makes Notability a more powerful presentation tool um, and something, it just makes it a more robust application as well. So this is really, really exciting to see. A quick way to switch between what is being presented and what is not is by clicking up here in this display and where it says multi-note, choosing left or right to show which one you want to present. So if I want this note to be presented now, I can go up here, choose multi-note and click left. And now this is being presented and this is just for me to see. Um, so that really, it, may, it really makes it easy for you to switch as well. So now having a single page note in the single view like they added here, single page viewing is, makes sense for presentation modes because it's easier to present um, by flipping through like slides than it is to scroll seamlessly like here. Right? This is a little bit more difficult, whereas this is a lot easier to do. So the last thing I just wanted to share with you guys is this document I've been working on for the past year about comparing all these note-taking apps. So Good Notes 4 is pretty outdated now, so I haven't really been keeping up with that, and they're not updating it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and Good Notes 5 is more relevant. But between Notability, Note Shop 2, Good Notes 5, and I was trying to do Notes Plus, but I never really got around to it, I've been keeping track of the new features that they've been adding in each update so I can see what the strengths are for each note-taking app. So here now what we can do is we can offer, we can add, I mean, horizontal scrolling for Notability, and we can add presentation mode for Notability as well. So that's good to know. So I'm not actually sure yet if GoodNotes 5 has added a presentation mode or not. I haven't used GoodNotes 5 in a little bit, but I will be looking into that and also doing more videos on GoodNotes 5 as well to see if they're trying to keep up more with Notability. Now, there are, of course, some things that Notability still is lacking that I think they should add. For example, having landscape and portrait pages in the same notebook, I think that can do that. Um, different paper templates for individual pages within the same note I think they should be able to do that as well. And of course, file management is a huge, huge problem with Notability. They do not have traditional file management and they really need to implement that. So that's that about wraps up the video. Hopefully this was helpful. It gives you an insight as to what has been updated with Notability and I will see you in the next one.